I don't want my community to be on fear. Please. With my broken English, I think everybody understood. Amen. Good evening, Council. Um, my name is Andrea Pritchett, and I work with Berkeley Cop Watch, as I have done for 23 years in this city. I also attended UC Berkeley as a student, and I was present for many protests. In recent times, I've had the opportunity to watch mutual aid, as UC Berkeley apparently has called in our officers to assist them in controlling the demonstrations. Um, I was present. I do believe it was November of 2009 when I believe it was eight, eight or ten students had occupied a classroom. And that resulted in, in, in a military occupation of all of Wheeler Hall. Imagine students in a classroom with demands. Unconscionable. It was treated as a, it was treated as this high level military, this dangerous terrorist threat because we had so many Berkeley police cars around Wheeler that to a casual passerby, it would seem that there was some life-threatening, horrible disaster in progress. It was merely students in a classroom. But see, without having criteria by which we can assess the threat and by which we can make rational, intelligent decisions about whether to respond to a mutual aid request and to what degree and what we should offer to this situation, it, is, it, it has become more and more apparent that these situations are becoming more highly militarized. What is not apparent in the mutual aid agreements that I have looked at, and I have asked the PRC to do this, is to create a criteria by which we can evaluate these situations. He's giving me another minute. So I would like that to be in the mutual aid uh, agreements. I'm also concerned about our police officers spending time writing grants to get armored vehicles. And God only knows, I know that they're trying to get tasers. I know that they're thinking that there are officers in that department who are working very hard to take advantage of the free stuff that the federal government wants to give, of the military hardware that they want to put in our community, not to keep our citizens safe, but to occupy us, to control us, block by block, neighborhood to neighborhood. That's what's happening. And I pray, I hope, I wish that those of you on the council could find the courage, because it's going to take courage to resist. It's going to take courage to stand up for the rights of a city to be a city and not be the, the plaything of Homeland Security and not be a propaganda tool for an administration out of control. So good luck.